YouTube fam. We are at the airport. I'm about to head to San Francisco for our embryo transfer with our surrogate. I don't know if we have documented much of this part of our uh, story. Um, so we're gonna have to bring you up to speed with that, but yeah, we have a lot to talk about here. We need to introduce you to our gestational carrier. Um, we have posted about our IVF journey. Um, we've been doing IVF for the past, gosh, like over two years. Um, and did a transfer this time last year, it failed. Um, and then through consulting with our doctor, Dr. Amy, we collectively decided, Chase and I, that using a gestational carrier was the best option for our family, for my health, for the health of the baby. I've had three C-sections already, um, birthing my three children. Um, our girls are um, both disabled and completely dependent on Chase and I for their mobility. They both weigh between 45 and 50 pounds and we all kind of decided together that it made more sense in light of that to have someone else carry the baby. Um, because as my pregnancy progressed, we could put my health and the health of the pregnancy at serious risk. Having to lift the girls. Oh, hey. <laughs> having to lift the girls. And Chase travels quite a lot, so that was a concern too, that he wouldn't be around to assist um, as much as we'd need him to, to keep everyone safe. Anyway. All of that to say, we decided to move forward with a gestational carrier. Um, we've been going through that process for the past, I don't know, six months or so. Um, but we are now at embryo transfer. We have reached that point. So we're gonna introduce you to our carrier and her husband. Um, we'll bring you along for this trip. Um, we're flying into San Francisco today. We're going to spend the day in SF. Our carrier and her husband have never been there, so that'll be fun. Chase and I are going to be playing uh, tour guides today. I'm a little nervous how that's going to go. <laughs> we lived <laughs> in the Bay Area. Day yeah, exactly. We lived in the Bay Area for nine years, but I don't know. It's always like pressure on when you're having to <laughs> take someone through for the first time. Anyway. Um, we'll be doing that today, and then um, and then tomorrow is the embryo transfer. So, here's up. Let's do this. Do you feel the water in there? I feel that I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> you should be fine. I think it looks good. Um, I'll have the baby take a picture of the embryo. She did it in there. She has. I know. Dr. Amy did everything. That's our embryo. That's where it went in. This is the magician who did it. This is the other magician. <laughs> Okay, post transfer meal. Yay! Everyone's so ready to eat and really annoyed with me that I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all. As promised, um, I wanted to finally give you an intro to our gestational carrier. Jess. Her name is Jess. Um, we are here with her. I feel like we haven't talked much at all, if at all, on YouTube. And I keep looking at Chase because he's right here on his phone, not participating. <laughs> <laughs> um, we haven't talked much 
if at all, about this part of our journey. We've talked about IVF, but I don't know if we've talked about surrogacy. So um, that's the route we've chosen to go. Now I'm looking at Jess, our, <laughs> our surrogate. Um, and when I say surrogacy, I more specifically mean gestational carrier. So Chase and I, just for some background, we have been doing IVF for the last, like what Chase, two and a half, three years, like a hot minute, long time. We've done nine egg retrievals. From that, we got six, well, seven embryos, technically, that were genetically tested um, and passed, passed, so to speak. Um, we attempted one transfer, embryo transfer, back like a year ago, this time last year. It failed. Um, and then collectively with our unicorn doctor, Dr. Amy, we kind of all took a step back, reassessed, and decided that in light of many things, um, using a gestational carrier was a much better option for our family. Um, I've had three C-sections already, and if you know our story, you know we have two children who, are, who have a rare genetic disease, and it causes them to be um, extremely developmentally delayed, so they are um, they don't walk, they don't talk, they are totally dependent on Chase and I for their mobility. Um, and they're both getting older. Our older daughter, Charlie, is eight. Our younger daughter, Ava, is five. Um, and they both weigh, Charlie weighs 50 pounds, Ava weighs 45 pounds. Anyway, in light of all of that, our doctor was concerned that um, just like from a lifestyle lifestyle perspective of, of having to lift and move our girls multiple times every day. Chase travels a lot, so he wouldn't always be there to assist. Um, and me having had three C-sections already, it just, we all just became concerned about the safety of the pregnancy and the baby and, and me. Um, and so we decided that we would, well, and on top of all of that, um, my first transfer failed, which isn't totally uncommon, but again, if you know our story, you know we had, we did not come by these healthy embryos easily. <laughs> it's a lot of work and a lot of time, and it was also kind of the feeling of we, we don't want to, we just want to give ourselves the best possible chance of having this work, I guess. So. All of that combined, we decided to um, go the route of finding a gestational carrier, and we did. We found our unicorn angel gestational carrier. I'm looking at her right now. Um, I don't really love calling it that because it's a mouthful for one, and for two, it just feels like, but it is the medical terminology. Gestational carrier is what, that's medically what it's called. Um, but so I just thought it was time. Now that we're here, we've made it this far. We literally did a transfer this morning. Um, we wanted to introduce you to Jess <laughs> and tell you a little bit about the backstory of how this came to be um, so that you can continue to follow along if you so desire. All right, y'all, YouTube family meet Jess. Yay! <laughs> Hello. Not weird at all. Not weird at all. Not awkward. No. Not awkward. Not, no. Um, not at all. This is Jess. She is our gestational carrier. Jess, let's just. Should we talk about how we know each other? How this came to be? So Jess and I knew each other. Know each other. Um, we met at the gym, right, Jess? Yeah. We met at the gym. I think we were just like, hanging out ago? on the treadmills, like, like three years ago. Yeah, like three years ago. So yeah. it's been a while now. Anyway. Um, and so we would just run into each other at the gym. When we did, we would say hi and catch up and whatever. And then on social, we just would chat. Yeah, here randomly. Just became buddies. Yeah. Um, and then not very long ago, like maybe four or five months ago, roughly, maybe even a little less than that, um, I posted on my social media that Chase and I had like decided for sure that we were gonna move forward with surrogacy, with a gestational carrier. Um, and Jess saw that story <laughs> and she sends me a DM and she's like, I'll be your surrogate. And I was like, oh girl, show me where to sign, you know, like, yeah. heck yeah. And she's like, no, but I'm kind of serious though. <laughs> I was, I was just like, for real? Yeah. And I'll I was like, it. wait, what? Yeah. 
And so then we just got to talking um, very in depth about the whole thing. And cut, like, and here we are. Yeah. I mean, that's the Four short months version. later. And I, the, I don't know. I just like, the only way I know how to describe the feeling, it's like, there was just such a different feeling about Jess and not to like get weird <laughs> or make this creepy or something. But, um, we, Chase and I had interviewed a few other, uh, potential carriers. Um, but for some reason, when we started talking with Jess, it just, it just felt right. It felt different. It was nice that like, we did know each other. It's not like we knew each other super, super well, but at least there was that like acquaintance level yeah. rapport. Um, we live basically in the same area, like within 30 minutes of each other, which was really nice too. In my opinion, I really like that. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know some people, I, I now have come, I have met several people now who have used carriers and there's like different opinions on that. I know someone who like really liked that their carrier didn't live in state. I really like that, that you live close by. Um, anyway, just, we have a ton in common. There were just so many factors, but the biggest one was just how good it felt. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. And so, um, let's, we'll make this up. And so if you know anything about surrog surrogacy, which you probably only do if you've done it, um, there is a huge checklist of things that you have to do um, to move forward with that, both on the medical side for just to be like qualified yep. um, or to be signed off as like, okay, you can be a gestational carrier. And then um, legally, there's a huge checklist as well on me and Chase's side, but I guess all of our sides. Anyway, um, so we had a lot to, to pull together. <laughs> Yeah. Um, in a short timeline. In a short timeline. Yeah. Because to try and get our goal date. Yeah, we had a goal date of uh, today. Today. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, like when did we start having this conversation? Was it was it January? Yeah, it was the very beginning. Like no, it was around. I feel like it was around my birthday, wasn't it? The conversation in February. Uh, I think like. I think you and I started talking about it in January. Yeah. And by the end of January, everyone was like, okay, yep, we're on board. Let's do this. Let's mm -hmm. proceed. Um, and so we basically did all of the things within two months, I would say. Yeah. We, yeah. Like signed, hired attorneys, got a contracts written up. Psych um, evals. Yeah. Psych evaluations for everybody, including our husbands who are both in the room right now. I'm just like, <laughs> uh, and then um, um, what else? Doctor's Just... appointments. I mean, I had so many doctors. Yes, appointments. I had to have my <laughs> uterus checked, my cervix checked. Um, so many, like so many blood panels. Right. Um, what else? Yeah, like we had to get all of it done and then be legally cleared by March seventh. We had to be medically cleared and legally cleared. Legally and medically. Yeah, by March 7th, we had to have it all done a month prior to the day that we were wanting to transfer. So I actually so feel like we did medication. it in like a month and a half, maybe, maybe less. Yeah. It was Yeah, crazy. We, we pushed a lot of emails. <laughs> yeah. Stayed on top of people. Thankfully, and... Jess is super on top of everything. Mm. So she just like project <laughs> managed the crap out of this thing. Tried. And <laughs> I tried. Made sure we got things done. Yeah. Um, and and we did. And here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So we flew to um, San Francisco yesterday. We're here with Chase, my husband, and Gordon, yeah. Jess's <laughs> husband. Um, We're both very, you know, normal on the camera. <laughs> um, flew here yesterday, we hung out in the city yesterday. Yes. And then this morning we had our transfer with Dr. Amy. Um, and as far as we know, everything Everything went well. Everything's gone well so far. So far, so good. Yeah. Um, we take a pregnancy test um, on the 13th. On the 13th. Yes. On the 13th and on so, the 15th. Like a week from tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so eight days from today is when we can, when Jess can first test for pregnancy. 
um and that's when we'll know if it, <laughs> if it worked or not our fingers. So, fingers. <laughs> we're hoping for the best um and if you don't follow so we're covering this whole journey as well like pretty thoroughly on instagram so if you don't follow on instagram highly advise that if this if this is of interest to you um it's at shannon wilderson on instagram and but i think what we'll do is um i mean just is going to be in our lives forever now <laughs> there's this <Yep. laughs> She's, uh, it's, she's, she's in. No yep. <laughs> Whether she likes it or not. Not even now. Uh, so, um, <laughs> we'll do like a Q and A or something where we can like talk more about, I don't know, just all the different questions people have. Yep. But if you want to leave some in the comments, feel free. Um, but that's kind of a just yeah. of it, I feel like. Yep. Anything you want to say to the... No, I don't, I don't know. I just, um feel super blessed and grateful <laughs> that I get to be on this journey um, with you. <laughs> are you kidding? That you allowed me. Super blessed and grateful <laughs> to have found oh. our unicorn perfect surrogate. But oh my heavens. That's how I feel. I just want everything to go so well. I'm excited and nervous for next weekend, but good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes only. What is it that they say? Sticky thoughts. Yes. Sticky, Sticky thoughts. thoughts. <laughs> manifesting. Being knocked up. Yep. It's going to happen. All right. I'll talk to you all soon. <laughs>